Hey guys, Steve again, lot to my path. We're outside today just in the front yard. Uh, got a little fire going in our fire pit. We're going to render down some pine pitch and uh, make it usable for glue or whatever we decide to use it for. I'm going to show you something here that I didn't know myself. It's about 18 degrees out here, so anything that comes out here is going to freeze almost instantly. And we rendered, started rendering this inside. And it was smoking up the house a little bit, so we decided to come out. So some of this was sitting here hot when we first came outside, and it sat here about 10 minutes while we were messing with the fire. And we pulled our little tin out, and it had frozen. It looked just like a broken beer bottle when this stuff freezes and breaks. I thought that was kind of interesting. But anyway, we just got a little metal tin to put our dirty stuff in. We poked three holes in the bottom. We got our tin that we're keeping the clean in. All we're going to do is set that in there and set it close to the heat and let it melt down and we'll show you the finished results. Okay guys, we've got our little horseshoe tripod that our buddy made for us to keep our tin of pitch from directly on the flame. It's just getting heat from it. It'll start melting here shortly. Got us a bottle of water tucked inside the fire pit because we have to keep it thawed. It's really cold out here. We're going to show you one more thing while it's melting down and then we'll come back to it. All right, like we said, we uh, have started doing this inside. When you're melting down pitch that is not really clean and none of this was, it came off of a tree that had been there a while and had a lot of dirt and wood in it. But anyway, this is what you're going to have left. It's just a gob of sticky junk when it's warm. What I was going to show you, let me make sure I've got that in the camera, is this can be used as a really, really good fire start. Probably use it as a candle, not really tried that yet. But it takes a flame almost instantly. I've got a lighter here. If I can keep the lighter lit, we'll be in good shape. There it is. Puts off a real thick black smoke, but it burns a long time. That's actually how we got the fire started out here was with a chunk of that about three times that size. Set it under some old snow-covered half charcoal wood and it took right off. Burn a long time like this. That's just another use for your leftovers. It's not all that sticky once it gets dry. So you can throw it in a pocket or in a tin or something. Just another use for it. All right, guys, we got this one rendered down about as much as it's going to do. You can see there's still a, well, you might not can see. Now you can see there's still a whole lot of dirty stuff down in there. And that's why I was talking about I used a minute ago to light the fire with. Once it cools off and gums up, it's just a, like a, I don't know, a dust with all kinds of sap in it. Just take a stick or your knife or whatever and get it out. I'm actually going to have to warm this back up. Sit here too long and cool it off. Just want to show you guys that. Makes a real good fire start. Possibly even a decently long burning candle if you had enough of it in a turtle shell or something. Looks nasty, but it works good. Okay guys, we've got us another chunk in here. Trying to melt her down. Trevor's got him a tin on melting. One thing I wanted to mention while we are doing this, uh, about doing it over an open fire, it ain't something you can just sit on there and then leave. It's nowhere near like gasoline or kerosene or anything like kits, but this stuff does have a decently low flash point. <clears throat> and once it sits on there for so long, especially over a flame, it will catch on fire inside your tin. And if you take off, you just come back and you'll have an empty tin with a bunch of black stuff in the bottom after it's all burnt out. So it's something you got to watch. Not real close. But, and once it does catch up, just take the pliers, get it out of there, and blow it out. No big deal. But I've had to take mine out five or six times just doing that one piece a minute ago. 
just something to remember okay guys we got that pulled off the fire now I'm gonna have to do this real quick because it is very cold and this will set up fast now we've got some good pure pitch resin whatever you want to call it ready to be mixed with some charcoal and sawdust type stuff make a glue be used as a fire start whatever you want to use it with many many different uses it's not a whole lot but it don't take much to do the things you want to do with it in another container a little tin we're keeping those little chunks of the nasty stuff that was left over from cooking it down and we'll use those as fire starts whatever we can come up with for it all right that's rendering down pine pitch this is some good uh, clean sap we're gonna get in out of the cold now because it's really 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 bad but uh, you guys have a good one we thank you for watching keep your comments and suggestions coming our way and we appreciate uh, everybody watching y'all have a good one. Skyhold here